Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Good Boxing Podcast with your host, Josh Saez. Today, I have a good episode for you. Finally, we're getting news from inside the pre preliminary Pacquiao camp. Bull Boy Fernandez and his other coach, Neri, who trains him in the Philippines, have been summoned to train Manny Pacquiao. I don't know if you've seen the recent video of Manny Pacquiao training with Bull Boy. He looks fast, he looks furious, and he's looking like he's ready to get ready for a fight. Evidently, Neri, one of the coaches of Manny Pacquiao or part of the camp, because we know who the main coach of Manny Pacquiao is, and that's none other than one of the best trainers in the game and former trainer of the year, Freddie Roach. You know, when it comes down to it, Freddie Roach is the main gun in the camp. But while in the Philippines, while under the care of Boo Boy and Neri, Neri, one of the coaches, divulged that in order for Manny Pacquiao to be ready for Crawford, and he said verbatim, I'm not making this up, the source was Rappler.com, and Rappler divulged that Neri said Crawford is going to be next and that Manny Pacquiao needs to be ready. Now, just hearing this, and I'm just going to be honest with you, I'm super hyped. Manny Pacquiao is an eight-time, eight-division world champion. I'm sorry eight division world champion, multiple time champion. Of course, Manny Pacquiao has won many belts in his illustrious career. However, taking on the pound for pound, arguably number one or two in the world at 42 years old. Just wow, Manny Pacquiao, honestly, I am extremely impressed that you're going to take on this challenge if what Neri is saying is true. Yes, I know there's rumors. I know the fight's not signed yet, but the fact that the coach mentioned Crawford by name means, in my opinion, that on June 5th in Abu Dhabi in the UAE, there's going to be a fight. I'm just happy to hear that Manny Pacquiao is back in training camp. And looking at him, I got to sit here and say he looks fantastic, regardless of whatever. Just being in shape at 42 years old and in fight shape and to look substantially good in your video at 42. Wow, he looks quick, he looks sharp, he looks agile, and as always, Manny Pacquiao's footwork is kind of controversial because it is good, but at the same time, he does make some mistakes, and if you look at that Marquez fight, especially the third one, his footwork didn't look his best, but then again, his footwork against Keith Thurman was fantastic, it works, so it's a double-edged sword, but Manny Pacquiao looks just phenomenal, and I got to sit here and say that I'm very, very impressed with the development of Boo Boy. Before, Boo Boy was like a sidekick. It was his best friend. But I do like how Manny Pacquiao uplifted his friend and actually made him a relevant part of the camp. I think the fact that Boo Boy can work with him, help him get ready for a fight while Freddie Roach is in the States is fantastic because at the end of the day, he knows exactly what his role is. He knows he is simply a cog in a machine that is Manny Pacquiao's career. It keeps on chugging along, and he knows and plays his role, which is great. But Boo Boy is not going to get in his head, try to poison him, and try to disregard the tra the trainings and the teaching that he received from Freddie Roach. So I like this immediately, that he's back in shape and hitting the pads and looking great. But if we get the Crawford fight, I'm super excited. This is a test for both guys. I mentioned before in that other video, um, if Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford, you already know the, the ramifications and the impact on boxing. However, I do see Manny Pacquiao as a legitimate threat if this is the Manny Pacquiao that's ready to fight Crawford. I like his sharp, agile footwork. I like his sharp hand speed as always. But again, it's only a mitt hitting video and it's not him in the ring, et cetera, et cetera, because we don't know. Ring rust affects everyone. Even though certain people know how to handle it better, it does take time to get used to the speed of an actual fight. So I'm going to sit here and say right now, I'm not going to sit here and predict Manny Pacquiao to win, right? I'm sticking with Crawford as my pick. I know he's untested at 147, but you can't deny the fact that Crawford is tested in the sense that he is an undisputed, former undisputed champion. He moved up through the divisions. He's the bigger and the, the bigger fighter and the guy with more tools in the toolkit. He's fast, he's long, and he's a great counterpuncher and does have pretty good power, especially at 147 where he seems to be stopping and hurting everyone. Sure, Amir Khan is chinny. 
He got knocked out by Bradis Prescott. He's been knocked out several times. So I don't really take that fight with Amir Khan too seriously when it comes to his power. But Kell Brook, another solid fighter, pretty good chin. But he did get stopped by Errol Spence. He did have that eye injury, et cetera. So you never know what's going to happen. And he hadn't been in the ring in a long time. But he was pretty competitive in that fight. But Crawford ended up stopping him. So what do you guys think? Do you think Crawford can pull this upset off? I mean, not this upset. Do you think Pacquiao can pull this upset off? I personally don't think so. But there's a part of me that wants Pacquiao to win because truthfully, it would just shake boxing up completely. The one thing I do want to also touch on too is if Manny Pacquiao does beat Terrence Crawford, when I say he's going to be one of the GOATs, I don't mean that he's the best 147 pounder of all time. I'm not going to sit here and say that he's the GOAT in, in sense of greatest of all time. But you can certainly put him on the route the Mount Rushmore of 147-pounders, why not? I mean, if he comes back at 42 and beats arguably the pound-for-pound person, number one person in the world, you can start making that argument. I'm not sitting here and saying that because you do have really, 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 really deep fighters at 147 is one of the most competitive divisions in history and if you look back you start adding the Roberto Durans the Thomas Hearns you start adding Sugar Ray Leonard and the list goes on and on it starts getting tricky the Floyd Mayweathers it just goes on and on and on and on so is it hard to put them at the top of course does it make a case can you start arguing the fact that he beats Terrence Crawford for sure because I'm going to give you credit Straight up, Manny Pacquiao beats Terrence Crawford. I don't want to hear any excuses about how, oh, Crawford wasn't tested. Crawford wasn't this. Crawford's in the fucking prime of his, his life. He He's right now 32 years old. He's been fighting. He's been at 147 for a while. He's been anointed this pound-for-pound pound champion. And at 147, he is the goods for sure. I love the way he switches. I love his timing. And he's an exciting fighter. I feel like he does like to fight a little too much. And what I mean is he doesn't know how to kind of eat, hit, and then get out. Sometimes he likes to stay around and he gets a little greedy. His hand gets caught in the cookie jar, as you saw with Gamboa and in other times with Kavalaskis. You can touch Crawford in exchanges. But against Manny Pacquiao, I can see Terrence Crawford moving, being smart, and making every intelligent decision necessary in order to beat Crawford. If he trades with Pacquiao, Pacquiao is going to beat him. I'm sorry. I know people think that Crawford is the bigger puncher. I know people think that Crawford is the superior boxer. I know all these things, and I agree with you 100% in that aspect. But Manny Pacquiao is still Manny Pacquiao. If you hit him with that left, Crawford's going to fall, especially if he sticks around because Pacquiao's power is different. His speed is different, and it's way different than anyone has Crawford has ever fought. But we got to chill with the Manny Pacquiao is a goat if he beats Terrence Crawford. He certainly shakes up the landscape. He certainly shakes up a lot of things in terms of ramifications and impact on the division. However, chill with the goat talk. Let Manny Pacquiao just fight Terrence Crawford. See how it goes. I'm excited that his trainer divulged that on the 5th of June, it's going to be Crawford. It may change, but I'm going based off what I'm hearing. And if his trainer says it's Crawford, he's preparing for Crawford, I would at least hope he knows who he's going to fight if he's involved in the camp. So that's the episode episode for today. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Manny Pacquiao is going to beat Terrence Crawford. Can he beat Terrence Crawford? Absolutely. If he does beat Terrence Crawford, can you make an argument that he is on the Mount Rushmore of 147 pounders? Absolutely. Just got to chill with the Manny Pacquiao's the GOAT if he beats Terrence Crawford. I'm not taking anything away from Terrence Crawford, and I will certainly give Manny Pacquiao credit if he does beat Terrence Crawford based on the fact that he is in his prime and ranked on the pound-for-pound list. I like Manny Pacquiao. I have no qualms with Manny Pacquiao. I think he's a great fighter, and honestly, his legacy and his legend is just building and building. If he beats Terrence Crawford... He becomes, in my opinion, elevated in terms of his legacy. 
because for him to stick around, beat Keith Thurman, and then beat Terrence Crawford in their primes, one, it tells us about the, the current era that a lot of these fighters probably couldn't fight the throwback fighters of the day. And two, it just shows how good that era and how good Manny Pacquiao was and that win with Floyd May- that that Floyd Mayweather win over Manny Pacquiao is looking better and better if he's beating these young, strong lions. So I, I don't know what to say. A lot of people get mad whenever you critique, but I'm literally just not being biased. I'm telling you what I see. And you can certainly make an argument for anything if you have the right information. So that's the episode for today. Let me know how you feel. Are you excited? Do you feel like the fight's going to happen now that one of Pacquiao's co-trainers in the Philippines had mentioned Terrence Crawford? If you do, feel free to comment, leave a like, subscribe, follow the podcast on Instagram at Good Boxing Podcast. And thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. Be good and be well.